Good evening and welcome to this special edition of Palmetto Scene. I'm P.A. Bennett. Nine people were killed Wednesday night at Charleston's historic Emanuel AME Church. The nine people who died were black, the alleged shooter, white. Authorities have labeled this a hate crime. We come to you tonight to discuss where we go from here and to honor those we've lost. This should not happen. This should not happen at all. It should not happen in South Carolina. Whatever this young man stood for and his hatred, we need to stand against. We need to make sure that this does not ever happen again. It seems like every day you're adding another name to the list of people that you're living for. The murder of nine members of Emanuel AME Church last week turned the nation's attention to Charleston, South Carolina and in no small measure to their church home. Mother Emanuel, as it is known, traces its roots back to the early 19th century. ...in a bipartisan way to move the flag from atop the Capitol Dome. Today, we are here in a moment of unity in our state without ill will to say it's time to move the flag from the Capitol grounds. The forgiveness offered by the nine innocent victims family is proof that evil in this state will never prevail or divide us. It's been over a week since the tragic shootings of nine church members here at Mother Emanuel AME Church. Mourners are still gathering outside the church to show their respects to family members and to the city of Charleston. Mayor Riley sat down with Palmetto Scene to talk about how his city is choosing love over hate in this time of healing. The citizens of this community's response is a model and so encouraging because they look at the phase of hate and the brutality of it, and they responded with love. I think of Sherry. A lot of people had to come face to face with some things about race in South Carolina and in America that were made more stark by this incident. Violence is allowed to grow because of silence, and I'm convinced there is a silent majority in this country. I'm just not that jaded to believe that the majority of people in America are inherently racist. I don't believe that, but they are inherently cowardly. <laughs> and so at some point, people have to break their silence, correct people's language, speak to intentions that they see in activities, whether it's in their family, in their neighborhood, and yes, their community. Each of us have to become communities of one and police of one. That equality has to be the order of the day. The loss of these nine souls has changed South Carolina. Among them was a man who strove for change and made sure his people always had his full attention. Intelligent, dedicated, strong, and a family man is how his friends, coworkers, and family remember him. I keep coming back to the word dignity uh, and to the word respect. Kindness, harmony, inclusiveness, and progress toward a better world were virtues of Clemente Pinckney that were echoed through his numerous friends and admirers. Perhaps the best remembrance was that he worked to bring these virtues out in all people for the benefit of South Carolina and the world. I think it's amazing well, the, 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 the way that this particular situation, this tragedy has struck the lives of people, not just here in South Carolina or nationally, but internationally as well. Grace, as a nation out of this terrible tragedy, God has visited grace upon us. For he has allowed us to see where we've been blind. This is State House Week, a look at events in the General Assembly. I'm Russ McKinney, ETV Radio, South Carolina Public Radio. What we did this morning is something that reverberates across the state and around the world. That State Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter at the end of a memorable week at the State House as the House early Thursday morning gave final passage to a bill to remove the Confederate flag from the Capitol grounds, settling a contentious issue that has divided lawmakers and the state at large for 40 years.
With that, I am proud to say that the bill has been signed. I do want to also acknowledge these nine pins are going to each of the nine families of the Emanuel Nine. But this could be the beginning of healing for South Carolina and the rest of the nation. For SCETV in Columbia, South Carolina, I'm P.A. Bennett. The new fight erupting over the Confederate flag right as South Carolina's governor seals the deal late today to take it down. The next battle already Hours boiling away from over. being lowered at the South Carolina State House. The governor just gave the final approval. How will this affect the national debate over race and symbols of hate? And protest this is a story about the history of South Carolina and how the action of nine individuals laid out this long chain of events that forever showed the state of South Carolina what love and forgiveness looks like. Well, I think everyone there, regardless of what they felt, knew this was a historic moment in the history of the state of South Carolina. There's no question about that. This has been breaking news coverage of the removal from the State House grounds of the Confederate battle flag. The flag is now being moved to the Confederate Relic Room and Military Museum in Columbia. I'd like to thank historian Dr. Walter Edgar for joining us for this broadcast. For ETV Radio, South Carolina Public Radio, and South Carolina ETV, I'm Beryl Davis.